Hello, this is Dataji and I am preaching the spiritual knowledge of Sri Data Swami. Advaita means the unity of two items. If there is only one item, the word Advaita has no place because in such case the word Ekam or one is used. When two things exist and become inseparable, then only the word Advaita is used. If you take God and human being separately, God is one and human being is one. Current is one item and the wire is another item. When the current enters the wire and pervades all over it, the word Advaita is employed. Shock is the property of the current, which cannot be directly experienced from the invisible current. When the knowledge contains unimaginable clarity, it creates unimaginable happiness, which is called as bliss. The clarification of the confusion gives the real happiness to the climax. Removal of confusion and ignorance clarifies the soul, resulting in bliss like the removal of gas and undigested matter from the stomach clarifies the body and results in immense happiness. Such unimaginable nature of the knowledge is the property of the unimaginable God, like the shock of the current, but it cannot be experienced directly from the unimaginable God. The unimaginable knowledge indicates the existence of God in a particular human body like Krishna, Jesus, etc. Finally, only the existence of God is experienced because the unimaginable God and the unimaginable nature of his knowledge remain always unimaginable. Only his existence is imagined and such existence is called as Sanmatravada. Since God and his nature remain unimaginable, you cannot say that God is awareness or awareness is his property and therefore the Chinmatravada is not acceptable. Dataraja wo dataraja, ni ko karaya na dataraja, ni padam buja madhu bula ni grole danaya, ni vuchista bula ni sada bujin tu naya, ni vyanta koti na ni nu vidajala naya, ni pagavari ni pike de karaja danaya. नी कोरकई ना प्राण मुलने पर पिंतु नया दतराजा वो दतराजा नी को करया ना दतराजा दतराजा वो दतराजा नी को करया ना दतराजा